Multiverses is about to release its final update of 2023. So what does that exactly mean? What is coming in the update? Are we getting a new character before the game goes offline? Are we getting new stages, a new game mode? Maybe season three is a surprise. Well, that's a big fat no to all of that. In fact, the update, for the most part, if you have the game downloaded right now, basic keep it downloaded all right keep it keep it in your library but uh, the update itself here's what it says here's what it's going to do so a uh, quick little backstory on the FAQ page of the official multiverses website it did mention that there will they will be pausing all multiverses updates after April 4th which led to some speculation about an update coming on April 4th which is today and uh, well the evidence is pointing towards yes there's an update today but Again, what's a part of it? So Lysol, the data miner here, says at first they're speculating that the update, the patch might have little or no content. So, yes, don't expect anything new here uh, in this update. The patch would basically just add functionality for the game client to be able to go to the main menu uh, for offline sections of the game while the servers are offline. Again, if you have it downloaded uh, player first games Tony told us was that a week or two ago they told us that we'll still be able to access the lab in offline mode so I mean it, it's I guess it's something but um, here's the here's the new update here's what is what's coming in the update this is the big part if you don't have multiverses downloaded and you think you're gonna try it out well you better download it quick so if you do not have multiverses downloaded by April 4th, 2023 at 12 p.m. Eastern time, is that noon or do I have my times wrong? 12 p.m. noon, right? Because then new 12 a.m. That'd be. Yeah. OK, I'm pretty sure that's noon if I'm getting that right. But April 4th, that's today. You have to download the game today. You will not be able to download or access the game until the re-release if you don't have this game downloaded. It's free, so might as well go download it, right? If you think you're going to mess around with it, please go download it. Otherwise, if you want to play Multiverses online until June 25th or offline until the official re-release, you have to have it installed before 12 p.m. Eastern today so yeah and then uh, basically the too long didn't read version the game is being taken off storefronts tomorrow in preparation for server shutdown and if you do not have the game before 12 p.m eastern tomorrow which is today you won't be able to play the game at all so you won't even be able like if you if you play on playstation for example you won't be able to find it on playstation at all you won't be able to download it at all so today's your last day yeah, I know this is like last minute, but we're just getting this information kind of last minute. So, yes, if you deleted this game and you think, hey, maybe I want to come back and revisit it, you better go download the game. So that's all the update is going to be doing to the game. There's nothing else besides that. But I uh, just wanted to get this out there. I know Multiverse's fans are dropping off because, well, there's nothing to look forward to for the rest of this year. So, you know. Their their focus is elsewhere on other games, which is totally fine. Totally fine. But either way, that is it for this quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.